Hi everyone. In today's video, we are going to review inflammation and what inflammation's role is in the body, as well as provide you with some supplement options and lifestyle modifications you can make to help manage inflammation. I'm Katie Bailey. I'm a registered dietitian at Fluso Nutrients, where we provide supplement education and professional quality supplement options for you to make the world of nutrition supplements a little easier to navigate. As always, make sure that you check with your main nutrition literate healthcare provider before starting anything new, as we can't possibly know your full medical history to provide you with a personal recommendation. So without further ado, let's dive into today's topic. So what is inflammation and why does it happen? So inflammation is a natural response of our body's immune system to injury or infection. It is a complex process that involves the release of chemicals and the activation of our immune cells to protect the body and to promote healing. Inflammation can occur in different parts of the body and it can be either acute, so that short-term response to something like an injury, or it can be a chronic condition, which is a long-term response that can lead to many health problems. Inflammation has both beneficial and detrimental effects on the body. During acute inflammation, it plays a crucial role in the healing process. By increasing blood flow to an affected area and activating immune cells, inflammation helps to remove damaged cells and pathogens and helps to stimulate the production of new healthy cells. This process is essential for wound healing and fighting off infections. However, chronic inflammation can be very harmful to the body. It's associated with many different health conditions, including things like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, arthritis, and cancer. Prolonged inflammation can damage our tissues and our organs, which can lead to pain, swelling, and dysfunction. It can also contribute to the development of chronic diseases by promoting oxidative stress and disrupting normal cellular function. Inflammation can be caused by various factors, including infections and injuries, lifestyle choices, environmental factors, and underlying health conditions like autoimmune disorders. Infections trigger our immune system to respond and fight off the invaders, while injuries prompt the body to initiate an inflammatory response to help repair the damaged tissues. Autoimmune disorders occur when the immune system mistakenly attacks healthy tissue, leading to chronic inflammation. Poor diet, lack of exercise, smoking, and excessive alcohol consumption are all known to cause inflammation. Environmental factors such as pollution or exposure to different toxins can also trigger an inflammatory response in the body. Now, you may be wondering if there's a certain test you can take to see if you have any inflammation, and there is. A common blood test used to measure inflammation levels in the body is called C-reactive protein, which is also called CRP. CRP is a protein produced in the liver in response to inflammation. So high levels of CRP in the blood indicate a presence of inflammation. It's not specific to any one condition or organ, and it doesn't identify the cause of the inflammation. It just lets you know that there is a presence of inflammation in the body. Now that we know what inflammation does or what it is, let's talk about different ways to manage it. So many people turn to natural remedies like supplements to help manage their inflammation. Several supplements have been studied for their anti-inflammatory properties and the potential to lower inflammation in the body. The, one of the most researched ones is turmeric, which has a compound called curcumin shown to have powerful anti-inflammatory effects. And it was found to reduce the production of inflammatory molecules. Another one is fish oil. Fish oil is known to promote the production of anti-inflammatory molecules in the body. Another one is ginger. There have been studies that have shown that ginger can help decrease inflammation levels in the body. And lastly, vitamin C. Vitamin C helps to optimize your immune system, therefore leading to a decrease in inflammation in the body as well. Combination supplements for inflammation are a great option as they provide you with multiple different ingredients that are beneficial to help decrease inflammation. It's important to remember that although supplements are very beneficial, 
they are not a substitute for a healthy lifestyle. They should be used in conjunction with a balanced diet that has lots of anti-inflammatory foods, adequate sleep, regular exercise, and stress management. Remember before starting any new supplement to check with your healthcare provider to ensure that the supplement that you want to take is not going to interfere with any current medications or supplements that you are already taking. To wrap up our topic for today, acute inflammation is a vital and necessary part of the body's healing process. While chronic inflammation can be very detrimental to our overall health, supplements can be very useful in managing inflammation, but should be used in conjunction with healthy lifestyle practices. If you're interested in trying a supplement to help manage your inflammation, I've linked a quality anti-inflammatory supplement below in the description box if you're interested. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more nutrition videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.